The United States has entered the international supercomputer race after Obama put in an order for the development of a supercomputer that could beat China's current super technology. 20 times faster is the executive order from Obama. China's Milky Way is, as far as we know, the fastest supercomputer around. However, Obama's super machine, expected to go online by 2025, is an attempt to keep the US ahead of China in the digital space race. Okay, so here is the technological bit. China's Milky Way, that's the name of their big supercomputer, at the University of Defense works at reportedly either 34 or 55, there's conflicting stories here, uh, petaflops, which is the measure of operations per second. So Obama's new machine that he's put in an executive order to be produced is hoping to hit 1,000 petaflops, so 20 times faster than China's big computer. Here's a quote from the White House on what they're developing. It will draw on the strengths of departments and agencies to move the federal government into a position that sharpens, develops, and streamlines a range of 21st century applications. And they went on to say it's designed to have advanced core technologies to solve different difficult computational problems and foster increased use of the new capabilities in the public and private center. A big move by Obama here, a lot of money going into this, and you have to look at the fact that it does seem to be a race against China, and it does it does seem that a lot of Obama's policies re recently are all skewed towards stopping China. I mean, they absolutely are. We saw this with the TPP. That was uh, absolutely skewed towards prevention measures in terms of putting things in place 20 years from now so that um, you know we, we actually aren't on the bottom of things. Um, this is a little bit alarming, though, if you really think about it. He's saying that uh, this is a big enough threat that we need to do something about it. I'm wondering, though, how this affects um, Alibaba's, their, their cloud unit. They were actually teaming up with Chinese researchers on quantum computing. They're going to be helping Helping them, we saw a lot of American investors jumping into Alibaba when it first was started. So, would we incidentally be somehow fun? I'm wondering where I might be mixing mm. mixing this up a bit. But in my brain, I'm thinking: Are we funding this because Alibaba is 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 in on this, and, and we're you know. Americans own a lot of stock in Alibaba. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Who's funding who? Well, it used to be about racing Russia, but it seems that now it's all about racing China. And it makes you wonder what it is that they know, what it is that Obama is so scared of uh, when it comes to China, but also just in terms of the innocent side of it, the technology, the advancements, what is going to come out of this supercomputer. Industry Tap magazine talked about an exascale computer used to solve some of today's world global problems, uh, like, for example, more accurately modeling the Himalaya watershed, understanding how hurricanes form, determining how genes work on a molecular level, and understanding how brain synapses work, which leads me to start thinking about artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. If we're putting all this money into these supercomputers that are all racing each other, the level and the rate of the technological advancements over the next few years, to me, seems to be pretty scary, especially when you have uh, big, powerful people talking about artificial intelligence moving ahead far too quickly. Right, and you see that the fact that Obama is acknowledging that China is surging here. He wants to make sure the U.S. stays in the game. We have skin in the game. You know, I, you know. In, speaking of computers in China, they have such limited access, I mean, arguably, in terms of social media. You hear reports of that often. And I'm wondering why they care so much about this development when their own people don't necessarily have the freedoms that we do in terms of accessing um, computers. That is true. It's just what they're going to do with their computer. That is the worry. What do you think at home? What do you think the reasons are for this? First of all, where it will lead us in terms of tech advancements. Is it going to lead us to a good place or a bad place? And Obama, why is he putting so much thought, energy, and money into staying ahead of China in the supercomputer race? Let us know your thoughts in the space below, and please keep watching the Lip TV for more.